We know Alberta farmers are under attack. Earl's Restaurants has decided to source their beef from Kansas because they think Canadian ranchers just aren't humane enough. Earl's wants Canadian farmers to submit to an expensive monitoring and licensing process from an American company to prove what we already know and what the Canadian Food Inspection Agency already strictly regulates, that Canadian farmers are the best farmers on the planet. And Canadian farmers don't need to be shaken down by an American company for a sticker of approval. Now you can see my story about this and sign my petition I'm hand delivering to Earl's head office at boycotterls.ca. And Alberta politicians have come out in defense of Canadian beef producers. Conservative MP Jason Kenney tweeted that Canadian beef is produced humanely, is locally sourced, and employs thousands of Canadians. Wild Rose leader Brian Jean tweeted that he was disappointed to see Earls move away from Alberta beef. Jean also said that Alberta farmers work hard to produce the best beef in the world. Wild Rose Shadow Minister of Finance Derek Fildebrand is stepping it up a notch. He's going on a beef diet for the next week. Progressive Conservative Interim Leader Rick McIver tweeted to Earls that he will no longer be eating there. That's great. Wild Rose Shadow Minister of Agriculture, Rick Strankman, who's an actual farmer, had this to say. There are so many ways that uh, Alberta beef producers uh, strive and do their very level best to produce the safest beef that they can. And uh, from the federal inspection agency on down to local uh, methods that they use on their farm and ranch operations to produce the safest beef in the world, I, I find it... Uh, completely unrecognizable that a Alberta-born co company would uh, come to a, 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 a trademarked uh, situation. If you uh, f read the fine print of this uh, certification that they have, Albertan beef already meets those standards in many ways. And to be importing beef uh, from a country where the dollar is worth more than here, I simply cannot understand the business sense of it, of it happening. Um, it's, it's frustrating. Now that's a lot of people on the side of Alberta farmers. Now what about that premier of ours, Rachel Nolly? Now's her time to shine. She's had an awful relationship with farmers after Bill 6. Surely she would jump on this opportunity to repair that fractured relationship. You'd think Notley would come out swinging. Well, she didn't. Notley thinks Alberta farmers need more of a labeling bureaucracy. As reported in the Calgary Sun, Nolly urged a round table on organics. Does she even understand the issue? Being certified organic has absolutely nothing with the issue of treating an animal humanely. Either Nolly doesn't know anything about farming, which could very well be true, or she thinks Alberta farmers may actually be inhumane in their treatment of their animals, but she just doesn't have the guts to say so. I think I might actually be right on both counts. Rachel Notley said in a teleconference from Washington, and I quote, there's no place in the world you can get more tasty beef than in Alberta, end quote. Notley then said that she hoped a national roundtable on certification of organics swiftly develops a certification process, and I quote, that confirms what we all know to be true, that Alberta produces great beef and that it's the best meal you can order in any restaurant, end quote. Now, did you notice something there? She couldn't bring herself to say that Alberta farmers are humane. She couldn't bring herself to defend Alberta farmers. There was never an argument that Alberta beef was produced less than tasty. Why does Notley think that this was the concern, that Alberta beef just isn't tasty enough? Premier Notley, Earls is not looking for a certified tasty designation. They want a certified humane designation. And what a weak defense of Alberta farmers when they are under attack this way. The last thing farmers need is more labeling hoops to jump through when the Canadian Food Inspection Agency already does these things. The answer for the NDP and statists like them is always more government, isn't it? There are government approved labels already from the CFIA that label Canadian meat any number of ways, including grass fed, raised without hormones or antibiotic free. But are we all really surprised? After the Bill 6 fiasco, we know Notley thinks farmers are about a, a bunch of out of control, dangerous, unsafe yokels who are mean to their employees. Why wouldn't she think that farmers are awful to their animals too? For the Rebel.media, 
I'm Sheila Gunn Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.